Hey, thank you for joining me again for another 3D video in Blender. Today, let's continue building our farming model set by modeling some farming tools. There are a lot of different tools in Stardew Valley and Harvest Moon and other farm games, but we're going to pick a couple. Today, we'll model a watering can, an axe, and a hoe. So let's get right into it by opening up a brand new Blender session and get started. So let's start by making the watering can. First, we'll start out by modeling the main body of the watering can by making an elongated cylinder. Then we'll use a solidify modifier to hollow it out. Next, let's go ahead and add a cylinder, and then we can extrude and scale the end, which is where the water will come out. And then to make holes in the end, we can add in cylinders and use the Boolean modifier to cut those cylinders into the end of the spout. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is add two different handles to the watering can. We're going to have one going across the top and then one going along the back. And that's so that you can have one hand on the top and one hand on the back. I find that making any curved profile or extruding along any curved path, it really helps to just kind of stick to one view and then you can move the different faces and vertices within that one plane that you're looking at uh, orthogonally or I guess perpendicular to. That way it makes it really easy to form the general shape and then go back and rotate some of those faces or uh, scale some of those different features. that we're gonna make is the hoe. I literally just recorded that like 10 times because every time I said it, it sounds weird. We're gonna use a cylinder for the handle and then use the bevel tool to round it off at the end. Okay, so let's move on to make the head of the hoe. So to make the neck, what we're going to do is use a cylinder and extrude that along a path, kind of like what we did with the watering can handles. Then to make the head of the hoe, we can import a cube and flatten it out to make that flat plate shape.
last tool that we're going to make is an axe. Now if you've ever played a farming game before, an axe is used to collect materials, clear away your land, and to use to get wood to make tools, to make fences, and to add additions onto your house. So to make the handle for the axe, we're going to import a cylinder and scale it in one direction to give it more of an oval cross section. Okay, there we have three new tools for the farm. Now I know that we modeled a tractor in the last video, which makes using hand tools look kind of silly, but like I also said in the last video, farming games are supposed to be relaxing and kind of tedious. That's what makes them so satisfying after all, and using hand tools makes you go nice and slow. So anyways, thank you so much for watching the video, and if you have any questions about 3D modeling, about Blender, or about anything in the series, please leave that down in a comment. And if you have any requests for future videos, please leave that in the comment as well. I'd love to make a video about it. Thank you to everybody who has subscribed to the channel in the past few weeks. I really appreciate it. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to the channel. And like I always say, if you know anybody that wants to get into 3D modeling for video games, creating 3D environments, or anything at all, go ahead and send them this video as a good intro. Alright, thank you again so much, have an awesome day, and I'll see you in the next video.